And now we're here in the kitchen with executive chef Justin Burris and headline cook Ryan Stark from the Greenhouse Restaurant in Newport News. Welcome to the Hampton Roads Show, guys. Right, I know I was asking you earlier, what are we making? And you said good food. Oh, yeah. So what yeah. is it? Uh, today we have, we're doing a greenhouse spin on a traditional turkey dish. We have a um, garlic marinated and thyme marinated mm. duck breast with uh, chef vegetables and oven roasted sweet potatoes. Ooh, and you've already got it all lined up oh, there. Yeah. It looks really good. I know I already have some questions about it, mm -hmm. things I want to know. So I guess we'll get started here and then mm -hmm. come back in just a few minutes. All right. Take a look. <laughs> We're back now with executive chef Justin Burris and headline cook Brian Stark from Greenhouse Restaurant in Newport News. We're making honey garlic duck with sautéed vegetable medley this morning. Guys, thanks again for being here. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about this dish. This dish, well, it originated me... It, we have to start a spin on a, like turkey dinner, so I like to do things a little more on my ethnic southern background. Mm -hmm. So I like I like, like like doing parent duck with the sweet potatoes and the thyme and the, the things like that that's going to really enhance the flavor and the sweetness of the duck. Ah, yeah. kind of a fall dish, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, Brian, so what are we getting started on first? And Justin, well, I know you're going to do a lot of the talking while mm -hmm. Brian does all the hard yes, work. Well, we're going to start, we're going to actually start getting the, the sweet potatoes roasting because mm -hmm. it probably takes like 10 to 15 minutes in, in a 425 degree oven because they have really starchy vegetables, so you want to get them cooking ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to start sealing off the duck. Okay. And you know what? I was reading something earlier that sweet potato is just a good food to eat in the fall. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's very popular. It grows this time of year, or it's done growing, I yeah. guess you could say. Do you incorporate that into a lot of your dishes? I mean, it's such a good oh, yeah. fall oh, yeah. treat oh, yeah. almost. Mm -hmm. Now, with the, with the menu, we have, a, we have a lot of healthy choices and things like that, but of course we have to have that whole southern staples, macaroni and cheeses and mashed potatoes, and of course sweet potatoes. There's nothing like a good sweet potato with a nice little honey and butter on top of it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, so what are the different elements that we have in this particular dish? Well, in this dish we have, uh, we have a thyme, we have an orange zest, which goes really well with the sweet potatoes and duck. Mm -hmm. We have white wine, cayenne pepper in the marinade, um, oil, honey, and a little bit of brown sugar. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Well, what's it? Is there something else that we can get started on now while the sweet potatoes are roasting? Yeah, we can actually start searing off the uh, duck breast. Yeah, and duck breast. Perfect. And we can start searing. We got since the um, the sweet potatoes in the oven. We can start searing off the duck breast, and we can actually start getting the pan on for that for the vegetables. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you were saying earlier, it's kind of like a, a fall dish you like mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, like a holiday meal almost. Yes, actually, it, well, from a different last, take on one. Yeah, yeah. Last year, I actually cooked this meal for my for my mother. First time she ever had duck, and she loved it. Oh, loved it. Loved so it. you get your inspiration from your own personal oh, life yeah, too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Actually, it's a couple recipes that I took from my mother. I can, I, I don't want to say it on. She might, she might, she may be a little mad at me, but I, I mean, you know, I'm a chef and she's a chef, and I love her cooking. And, she, I do, it does inspire me to cook more, but I like her. Yeah, hey, you have to get your inspiration oh, yeah. somewhere. Oh, yeah. So what are some of the other uh, dishes that you have on your menu this week? We fall? have a um, grilled chicken, so a Ciroc chicken. That's why I wanted. We use actual vodka, wild berry vodka, um, barbecue sauce that we make in-house. Mm -hmm. We serve with our, our traditional macaroni and cheese, our three cheese macaroni and cheese. And then sometimes we have a little collard greens or seasonal vegetables that usually go with it. We have fish tacos, and the, the, actually another recipe I got from my mother. Uh, fish tacos, we have uh, Asian shrimp. So we vary in different different cuisines, so we can get everybody can have a taste of everything different, like just, not, just, not just Virginia, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Now, are there any secret ingredients in this dish that kind of make it what it is? Of course, we've already discussed the sweet potatoes, and you said mm -hmm. thyme was in it, mm -hmm. too? No, with, with, the, with, the, with the actual, I don't really have the actual ingredient inside the actual marinade, but the actual sauce that we're going to put on top of it is an amber ale, an amber ale beer, and um, mm. black pepper gastric or like a reduction that's going to really complement it. Okay, mm -hmm. so not only do you have beer in it, but then wine as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Sometimes a little bit of wine, yeah. a little bit of beer, that yeah, can got, be the secret oh, ingredient. Yeah. Gotta have too, a little right? fun. <laughs> okay, so what else are we going to be doing next? You're searing the duck, mm -hmm. and then and then will you be sauteing some of the vegetables? Yes, ma'am. We're going to start with this, this actual squash because that's a little more harder vegetable. And we already, you can, with the carrots and the asparagus, you don't have to, but I actually blanched the carrots and asparagus so they can cook quicker and have a nice tender to, um, bite to it when you, when you bite into it. And then actually after that's probably take like five minutes when everything's done. All okay. the vegetables. All right, great. Well, there's a lot more work to do, Brian. We're going to make you sure you keep working hard. <laughs> keep working on that duck breast, then we'll start on the vegetables mm -hmm. and then check back in in just a little while. I wish you could smell this. We're back now with executive chef Justin Burris and headline cook Brian Stark. From Greenhouse Restaurant in Newport News, we're making honey garlic 
duck, right? What, what is it with sautéed vegetables? I know we're working on the vegetables oh, right now. Right. It smells so good in right. here. What are some of those flavors that are coming out right now? The flavors, we have the, uh, we get the nice molasses smell, the sweetness smell from the honey, clover honey. We have the mm -hmm. nice, nice, nice uh, floral notes from the Pinot Grigio and the wine, and we have the nice beer aromas and the, the it's just a lot of love going into the dish. A lot of love. A lot, a lot going love. on. I uh, tell me, we were talking a little bit about this earlier. You mm -hmm. got a lot of your inspiration, I'm sure, from many different oh, yeah. places. A few came from your mom, but where mm -hmm. else does it come from? Well, I used, I used to work on uh, being employed at the um, the, the Charlottesville, Virginia, in the Keswick, Keswick Hall. So oh I'm yeah. Chef Craig Hartman. And I actually worked, used to work at the, uh, it went to school in CIA in uh, Hyde Park, New York. Okay, yeah, so a lot of different experience there. And I used to live in Charlottesville, so I know it well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah so mm. tell me, what's Brian doing right now? Right now, he's doing the finishing touches on the vegetables. He's sauteing up the squash, the, the, the zucchini, the uh, carrots, and the asparagus, put a little cherry tomatoes, and to finish it with butter so we get that nice, gleamy, nice, sweet, um, a nice buttery flavor to it. And it's, an, it's, a nice, it's a nice finishing for the vegetables. Ah, there we go. And it and the meat is already done, oh, the yes, actual yes, duck. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma we have the, the duck nice and right now we have it doing this. Any kind of protein that you cook, you want to have a nice sear on it, you want to let it rest for a second. So it actually oh. re regain all those juices. Yeah, but you see after after you cut meat and you right, right you cook it directly, it's gonna start to spill out all the juices. You don't want that. You want juicy meat, so you want to have to rest it for like one or two minutes. Uh-huh. And what are some of the other meat dishes that are on the menu right now? We have a uh, duck, we have a uh, salmon, we have a uh, chicken. Mm -hmm. We also have our uh, beef tenderloin and um, strip strip loins. Okay, and so what's what's Brian doing right now? What are you doing over there? Well, he's, he's roasting it. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, finishing it in the oven because uh, the the actual squash right here is kind of it's kind of fibrous, so uh -huh. it means it's kind of thick, so it has to take a little longer in the oven to actually cook to fully cook it, and then afterwards it should be good to go. It might probably one or two minutes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What's the secret behind that? Because okay, so we're we're done roasting the sweet mm -hmm. potatoes, just for some people that might want to try and not to recreate your yeah. dish at home, yeah. but that are experimenting with you know. Roasting different mm -hmm. vegetables. Is there any secret to roasting? Oh, no, not really a secret. And I'm it's really just... asking for myself. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, what you want to do is you want to make sure the the, the vegetables are well seasoned, uh -huh. whether they have a nice amount of oil on it, so you can get that nice Miller reaction, nice brownness on it. Right. You, put it you don't want to put it too high because if you put it too high, of course it's going to burn. So the actual oven, you don't want yeah. it to be too yeah. high. Yeah. Any kind of any kind of flavors, rosemary, thyme. Salt, pepper, that's all you really need. Simple. I nice think that's simple. something I need to start uh, incorporating mm -hmm. more. Rosemary and thyme. Mm -hmm. That's a good fall thing, oh, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's kind of the, the concept of Greenhouse Restaurant. We're, 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 we're located in Newport News on uh -huh. 1000 Omni, Omni Boulevard. We're open for Sunday uh, brunch, 7 a.m., 3 p.m. And what, what we kind of focus on is fresh, local green ingredients at an affordable price, great prices. And and you're actually located in the hotel, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Magazine Hotel. Yes, ma'am. Okay, yeah. Could you, where, exactly where is that again? I know you just gave the mm -hmm. address, but just so, you know, because people it's, might um, see the hotel first. It's like right off of J. Clyde Morrison. You're going to see the big sign. It's uh, 1000 Omni, um, Omni um, Boulevard. It's like a couple, couple blocks down from the actual town center in, in, in Newport News. Okay, and mm -hmm. how long have you been the executive chef there? I've been there for, for about six months. We've been open, uh, I think, like early, early June. Early June yeah. Okay, great. Well, hey, so not even that old yet. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's still a baby. It's still a baby. Yeah, absolutely. All right, and then you've got uh, Brian cutting up the duck here mm -hmm. and actually starting to plate it, too. Yes, ma'am. What Brian is, and what, what we're going to do is we're going to get all the, basically, uh, my whole thing about plating and greenhouse, we make, we like, we like to make food look Excuse my language, but like food look, look sexy. Everything has yes, to look good. Yes, you do. Yeah. That's, uh, I love. I, I love making food look sexy and, and letting the people see the true, the face and the, the beauty of food. So what, what he's doing right now, he's he's taking it very seriously. What we're going to do, we're going to plate all the vegetables and, and the starch and everything like that. We're going to finish it with our sauce and then put a little a whole house made or fresh herb oil right on top of it. Mm. Well, it definitely smells good. Well, you keep working on that, Brian. Get that all plated up because we will be trying that, mm -hmm. sampling it mm -hmm. in a little while. And uh, we'll check back in with you all in just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Greenhouse Restaurant is located on 1000 Omni Way in Newport News in the Magnuson Hotel mm -hmm. at Oyster Point. And if you need that phone number, it's right on your screen, but it's 757-873-6664. Thank you so much, That's guys. Right. Thank you.